Are you or someone you love an avid quilter? Meet the Ready, Set, Go Ultimate Fabric Cutting System. This fabric cutter takes the strain out of fabric cutting, meaning less chance of injury and better quilts made faster. The Ultimate Fabric Cutting System includes the Go, our innovative fabric cutter with an easy to turn handle that makes cutting fabric safer, faster, and more accurate. This 15 pound fabric cutter has a carrying handle and folding mechanism, so it's portable and easy to store. The Ready Set Go also includes the Go Cube Mix and Match 8 inch block, which features eight dies of commonly used geometric shapes and the corresponding cutting mat. The Go Cube Mix and Match system has endless pattern possibilities, but it comes with a 16 page pattern book with two quilt patterns to get you started. We like to say the Ready, Set, Go is the ultimate fabric cutting system because it truly comes with everything you need. That includes our Go Strip Cutter, two and a half inch, which finishes to a two inch finish strip, a corresponding cutting mat to make cutting binding strips easier than ever. We've even included a die pick to make die maintenance painless. To help quilters feel confident on their quilting journey, we've also included the Go Cube Mix and Match Blocks and Quilt Pattern Book by Eleanor Burns. It's packed with tips and tricks in addition to inspiration. Look at some of the beautiful projects you can create with this ultimate fabric cutting system. At AccuQuilt, we want to spread the joy of quilting to all, and the Go makes cutting fabric easier than traditional scissors or rotary cutting. AccuQuilt, because cutting time means quilting more. ultimate fabric cutting experience, you need the go big in your sewing space. This all electric fabric cutter is hands free, making it the cutter for those with physical limitations. The go big is safe, easy to use, and is compatible with every die in our go collection, 
That's more than 250 dies. The wide opening allows you to run two six inch wide dies through at once, upping your efficiency and lowering your cutting time. Though it's our widest go cutter, the Go Big is still portable and features a handle to make it easy to store or travel with. When you buy the Go Big electric starter set, you get the Go Big fabric cutter, the three by six inch finish Go Flying Geese die, a cutting mat, and five fabulous patterns. Look at some of these beautiful projects you can create with a Go Big. The Go Big has all the perks of AccuQuilt's Amazing Go product line with none of the manual work. Don't give up your quilting craft. Go Big. AccuQuilt. Because cutting time means quilting more. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Quilters, it is October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Make sure you get a mammogram. It's our public service announcement. All right, Emily's in the house today. How are you, my friend? I am doing fantastic, thank you. Yeah, you went glamping this past weekend. How we was did. that? It was so much fun. Oh my gosh, we did, we grilled, we made s'mores on the little fire pit, just stayed in this cute little cabin. It was nice because it got, it was all the camping, but I got to sleep in a bed, you know? Right, and have a shower. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good job, yeah. good job. And it wasn't very far away, like just 30 yeah. minutes away, right? Yeah, 30 minutes away, yeah, it was so nice. It was oh, I nice love it, easy. I love it. <laughs> okay, where is everyone watching from today? Okay, who is watching from the thumb? Oh yeah, it was um, it was our dear friend, Julie. Julie is watching from the thumb of Michigan. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just smacked my mic. Because um, we're having the oven mitt and the mitten dies, so it has a thumb. So good job, Julie. Uh, we have 
Uh, Patty's watching from Spokane, Washington. We have some folks from Canada. Hello, Canada. Cindy from Oklahoma. We're so glad that you're joining us today. All right, quilters, today is all about warm hands and warm hearts as we show you some quick and fun projects using the two new dies, the Go Mitten die and the Go Oven Mitt dies. So let's take a look at some photos from the intro video. First up, we have this really cool creative project from Autumn W. So she took the heart um, applique shape and created the heart. But uh, Emily, we think that maybe she took some pictures or photographs, right? Of, I, I think so. There's, there's like some details in there that kind of make you think. That are important to Autumn. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Next, we have this darling project from Sandra W. It's a wonky heart. Mm -hmm. I really do love this die. It makes a six inch finished block. I love the sashing between it. And uh, if you're getting the wonky heart, make sure that all the fabric faces up. It's a great tip. Next, we have this stunning quilt from Teresa J. And Emily, do you know which die this is? The Hunter Star, I believe. Hunter Star, it was actually one of our very first bob dies. It's been around for a long time. And this one I love because you can make it solids like she did, but you could totally make it scrappy. Yeah. So that's exciting. So quilters, if you would like your projects um, to be shown on our intro video, share them with us on our Facebook page, right? Yep, absolutely. All right, so we're talking about oven, mit oven mitts and mittens today. Here is my photo of the day. So this is my Oakley bug, and she does really truly like to cook. Um, and if she had an oven mitt, she would be holding it with that instead of her little um, cloth. But we let her cook and she's a great little sous chef. So the question of the day is, quilters, what is your signature dish? Now I'm gonna tell you mine first because Emily's is so much more impressive than mine. <laughs> um, first of all, and Brock, he is all about sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches is his signature dish. Um, I make awesome twice baked potatoes, like with butter and sour cream and bacon and all of the good things in twice baked potatoes. Now, Emily, what is your signature dish? So I like to do salmon with crispy skin, See, and then I do. She went <laughs> and then I do a wasabi avocado grapefruit puree, puree for it. So it's like a little zesty, a little you know, pick me up. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> So somewhere between these two things, what is your signature dish, quilters? <laughs> we would love to hear it. You can put it in the comment section. We spend most of our time talking about food, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. okay. So put it in there. Okay, so we just released the new oven mitt and mitten dies. So those bundles are going to continue. So Emily, tell us the price of the bundles as we go through them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm sorry, the bundles for... Yes, for the mitten the, the and mitten. the oven yeah, mitt. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got the um, the Warm Hands, Warm Hearts bundle, which is $149.99 right now. Right. If you were to get the two dies like by themselves, right. it would actually be more expensive than this bundle, which inc includes the both dies, the Insulbrite thermal batting, and then the two cutting mats. So it's there like a no-brainer. And then if you add a little bit extra, you can get to the 175 for free shipping within the contiguous U.S. Right. Good. And then we have one with the go big, right? We sure do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, usually this bundle would be valued at $910.94. Right now it's $649.99. See, that's such a great price. Yeah, that's absolutely. less than the price of the go big by itself. Right. So quilters, if you're looking to um, upgrade to a go big, uh, we talk about this all the time now because of supply chain and demand, right? So um, uh, you want to get these products while they're in stock. Now, we also have another special because we have a code for you. So the bundles are just priced on the website. You can just purchase them. Now, um, so we have so many things on our site that are already on sale. That's part of the Super Fall Holiday Sale. And they're already discounted. And you can take an additional 20% off if you use the code COZY20, C-O-Z-Y-20. 20 right Emily yep that's so right. we'll we'll give you some ideas of some dyes that you want to get using that new uh, that code today I'm going to give away one of our oven mitt dyes and a package of Insel Bright so be sure and share our video on your personal Facebook page for the chance to win and Emily's going to announce the winner at the end of our show oh boy I'm going to take off my shoes and preempt of sewing here <laughs> okay so let's take a look at our oven mitt dye 
boy, I just whapped that right around. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, you're gonna notice it's on a 10 by 24 die board. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's gonna fit through our Go, our Go Big, and our Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. Make sure you have a 10 by 24 cutting mat, quilters, because what happens, Emily, if you try to use a die without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing, <laughs> okay? So, um, and we're gonna talk about this for just a second, because right here, there is a little slit. And the reason we put that there is because normally if you were to stitch it, this out, when you got to this point, you would have to cut it right here so that the thumb moves, okay? So AccuQuilt actually did it for you, okay? Now the batting that we're gonna use is called Insulbrite Batting. Uh, we sell it on our website. So be sure to throw in an extra package or two to your cart because this is what you're gonna use to make oven mitts. And when, listen, once you start making them, you're gonna love making them. And if you um, buy our bundle with the two dies and the Insulbrite add another package, then you'll get free shipping to the contiguous US, okay? All right, so now, before you cut your oven mitt, there is some prep work that needs to happen. And so I'm gonna show you what I did here. Okay, so look at this fun fabric. Okay, so in just in time for Hanukkah is coming up here. So holiday, you can do holiday themes, all sorts of fun fabric. So what I've done is I have a piece of fabric, a layer of Insulbrite, and then a layer of backing, okay? So those three layers. And then I just stitched, oh here, it's easier to see it on the back. I just did stitches, okay? It does not have to be perfect. It is not rocket science, okay? And you wanna make two of these sandwiches before you even start cutting. In my quilting head, I thought, oh, I'm gonna cut them and then I'm gonna stitch them. No, 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 no. If you stitch them first and then cut them, they're gonna work perfectly. And think outside the box when it comes to your fabric. You could use holiday fabric like we did here, football fabric for the Super Bowl. Um, you could make it for any other holiday or season, okay? Now, um, we were, as a company, planning to go to Quilt Festival, which is held every year in Houston. But COVID restrictions are keeping us here at home. So mark your calendars for October 26th through the 30th, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're gonna be here on a Saturday um, as we have special events at 12 noon central time each and every day. We are, you wanna register in the link below because we have so many giveaways. And we have a sneak peek at a new die. I know. So you wanna, sh you wanna make sure that you come to those shows. And of course, we'll have a great sale for you, okay? So be sure and register in the link below. All right, Emily, before I cut, uh, tell us what are people's signature dishes? Absolutely. So I'm seeing um, fried chicken. Oh. Nancy says she makes a killer potato salad. I do so not. So if we had the fried chicken and the potato salad people. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Thinking, I'm thinking we need to organize a little, little, little something. Little potluck here. Um, we've got uh, Kimberly with beef stroganoff. Oh, I do make good stroganoff. Do you? Mm -hmm. My dad made a stroganoff the other night with mushrooms in it. Uh, we always put mushrooms I've in it. I've not, well, with like ground, it was so good. Oh my gosh. Love okay, it. and who else? Another one? Can we yeah, have one Yeah, Bettina, um, lemon berry pie. I think we're, we're gonna have a full like I think we have a full board. menu. Here. Yeah. Okay. And then Myrna's gonna bring the deviled eggs. Oh, so, I mean, we got abs, we got, we got all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I went to a sewing potluck last week. I stopped by um, here at our local Celtic Quilter. Huge shout out to those ladies at the Celtic Quilter who watch our show. Um, and somebody brought deviled eggs. They were Love so good. Those. Oh my gosh. All right, so here is the trick about the die. It is what we call a directional die. So you want one of the fabric to go down and one of the fabric to face up. If you cut them the same, they're not gonna be sewn together right. Huh. Kim, we've got a question. Does it matter what if the Insulbrite is facing a certain way or is it just? No, oh, that's a good question. No, you just sew Insulbrite. It's the same on either way. And we tested it. I made a little oven mitt and we tested pulling things out of the oven with it. It works just great, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my first little sandwich right here. Make sure I have all my pieces covered. Okay. This is such a fun die here. There we go. Make sure I have it all there. Make sure you have a 10 by 20 format. All right. So I'm gonna use my Go Big today because I can. Uh, but you could use your Go Fabric Cutter or your Studio Cutter. Mm -hmm. All right, Emily, tell us a couple more signature dishes while we're cutting fabric. Yes. Ooh, Mary says bourbon glazed salmon. Are you kidding? Wow. Yum. Um, wow. We've got... We have fancy, fancy I know. people. I love this. This is making me hungry already. Okay. And Mary says uh, fried rice is her specialty. Okay, quilters, look right here. Sometimes where the insel bright mm. has a stitch, it catches one thread, just trim it. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's one. Okay. Oh, cute. Okay, go on. All right, we also have um, a really great mac and cheese. Oh, um, I love mac and cheese. Melba makes chicken and dressing. Now, I want to know what dressing constitutes up because I've, I've heard so many things. I feel like there's so many definitions of dressing. Yes. Okay. Hold on. And I'd, I'd be curious to know what you, what your dressing looks like Melba. Yeah. Um, we've got Buffalo chicken pot pie that Paula makes. Oh my gosh. That sounds delicious. Oh man. Sounds like I, I kind of sewed this wonky. So I'm making sure that I have all of my pieces right here. Holy smokes. <laughs> I must've been watching TV or something when I sewed that together. There we go. Mac and cheese. I am a big fan of mac Me and cheese. Me too. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have a question, an interesting question about the mitten dye. Yes. Could you use the mitten dye to create like kids mittens? No, they're it's not probably, to be worn. Yeah, probably a little. Yeah. yeah, they're a little. Okay, except when I was testing the mitten dye at my house, mm -hmm. um, Oakley was there and she tried to wear them and she couldn't. But yeah, no, they're for decorations. Yeah. Somebody asked that about the oven mitt. They were like, well, could you make mittens out of it for adults? Oh. Yeah, which I thought was a nice gesture. And yeah. Yeah, and the answer is no. I mean, it's meant to be an oven mitt. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, put this in my scraps over here. All right, so look at this. Ta-da! Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, think how hard it would be to cut that by hand because you would have to cut the fabric and the insole bright and the um, lining the same. Okay, so right here, Justin, can we get a really good shot? So right here, see, there's that, there's that slit that Erica loves. Okay. Okay? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Super fast project. So. I don't know, it took us what, like 47 seconds to cut it. So I'm going to pin it. I know I don't normally pin, but I'm gonna pin it today just to make sure all of my layers stay together. And you're using okay. your cute new seasonal pin cushion. Yes, Erica made it, isn't it cute? <laughs> it has a little snowflake from the mitten dye. Mitten, mitten is really catching me up every time I say it. <laughs> Don't forget to share. We're going to give away one of our oven mitt dies to one lucky viewer. So share it in your personal Facebook page. Okay. Now, everybody always asks me, why is my walking foot not engaged? That's because I'm sewing on two pieces of cotton. But now I'm going to engage it because I'm sewing on so many layers. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so leave the top open. Do a little back stitch. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you when you're doing mittens, mitt, oven mitts, boy, you want to cut them all out first and then sew them. Okay, because see, look how fast I'm sewing them together. Wow. And then you can just do oven mitts for days. Okay, so right there where that slit is, I'm gonna come down and come past it. And then I'm gonna lower my needle. And then I'm gonna come this way. I'm gonna take out my little pins so I don't pin myself here. 
All right, what are people's signature dishes, Miss Emily? So cool. I actually just, yeah, somebody uh, makes Brussels sprouts with chestnuts, maple syrup, and bacon. Okay, we make Brussels sprouts with bacon all the time. I do too, but I've never heard it with like, with the, with the maple syrup and everything. That sounds delicious. <laughs> um, Dorothy makes chili. Which sounds, oh, this is perfect chili weather. Absolutely, I was just gonna say that. And then, um, let's see, sour, ooh, Kathleen makes sourdough bread. That oh, okay, I, I applaud anyone who makes sourdough bread because to me that is so much work. Yeah, well just maintaining the starter is, is like a, you have to like. It's like a day job. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my, notice I went through and I made sure I didn't have any holes. Sometimes when I'm talking, right, it comes out. So I'm going to turn it inside out. Mm -hmm. Look at how fun that is. It's so fun. And we're really going to finish the whole thing because it is so easy. I'm even going to show you how to sew on the binding. Okay. And look how easy that is. I know. Ooh, Kay it's also a makes a, a mean macaroni and cheese. I'm loving the whole mac and cheese thing. Now, and when it comes to mac and cheese, do you put mustard in your mac and cheese? Never in my whole life have I ever put mustard in my mac and cheese. Do when, I need to try that? See, I have a friend who makes it with mustard as well as Worcestershire sauce. And it like, wow. I swear to God, it gives it the best little kick. It's it's fascinating. I, I can never figure out how good it is. <laughs> We'll have to take a poll one day. Exactly. Does, everybody, does anybody put mac, mustard in their mac and cheese? Okay, look. My cute little mitten, or my oven mitt. I keep calling it a mitten, but it's my oven mitt. And the thumb works because we have the little slit. Okay, now for the binding. This is so easy. Um, you're going to use a two and a half inch strip. We have a die for that. 55017. If you don't have one, get one today. I bet it's on sale, right? Yeah. Um, use a two and a half inch strip and uh, fold your strip in half and then press it down. Okay, now, on the package and in the instructions, it says to take your strip, sew it to the outside, and then fold it over and then hand stitch it on the inside. Okay, so it tells you to start on the outside and fold it over to the inside. Okay, in my quilting head, I do not do that because I am not a sit at home and hand stitch things. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I have UFOs because they just need binding, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna start it from the inside, okay? And then I'm gonna stitch it down, I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna top stitch. So our whole little oven mitt will be done by the end of the show. Huh. Okay. I know it's important to do those kind of things. That's okay. so cool. Pam, um, Carol wants to know if, do you need to use 100% cotton thread and fabric with this item or can no, you No, it's not like it's going in the microwave. It's not like bowl cozy. Can you use like a poly blend maybe? You could. Awesome. That's You cool. could. Great. That's a great question. Okay. So right here, I have it pinned because I folded it together so I don't have a raw edge here. So when I finish, I'm gonna, just like binding, I'm gonna bring it in here and then I'm gonna stitch. So I am gonna start stitching. Oh, I gotta do this the right direction. Holy smokes, I am right-handed. Holy smokes. Okay, and I'm gonna try and come right here where um, the seam is, okay? So I'm gonna take my little pincushion Look at this. Barb also are wants we, to know, what's the good? seam allowance you're using? Quarter inch seam. That's what I thought. Yep, quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. So see how I'm just doing this? Joe, is this good? Am I good? Okay. There's some, there's some conversation going on about the best way to watch this. Okay, and then see, I'm gonna just pin to right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna start stitching Okay, and then, oh, I just love this. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little room, right? Because I don't wanna stitch right where it's gonna start. So I'm gonna start right here. Okay, and I'm gonna back stitch. I'm leaving a section so that I can 
put it all together. And then, watch this. Wow. This is so much faster than sitting at home and watching Netflix. Absolutely. Well, and Barbara has an interesting question. Could you cut the lining slightly longer so it could become the binding around the top when the mitt is turned you know, inside out? Right, so that's a great question. The answer is yes, of course you could. Oh, thank you for moving our tree. Okay, um, you could, but the die isn't going to cut it like that. Gotcha, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. We had to move our cute little Christmas tree so we could get a good shot of the oven mitt. Okay, so see how I'm doing that? And I'm just going nice and slow. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was funny, Eric and I were having this conversation about, and I was like, how did you finish the binding? And she's like, oh, well, you know, I followed the instructions. And I, and I was like, dang, I am so not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so look, can you see right here? So here's where my edge is. So I'm gonna come right here and I'm just gonna snip it off. Ooh, don't cut your fingers while you're snipping stuff. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring it right here. I'm gonna open up my little seam here and it's gonna tuck right inside, just like this. Wow. So Pam, is there a reason, like, so could you theoretically put the, put the binding on before you flip it right side out? Or is, it, is, is, there, like, is there a reason it's best practice to do it this way instead of beforehand? I'm gonna say it's best practice and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's best practice because that's how I do it. All right, I like it. Yeah, no, I don't know. No one has ever asked me that question before. No, I thought that was an interesting one. Okay, so look. See, right here now I don't have a raw edge because I just tucked it right in there. And I'm going to go right over here and make sure my little thing is straight. And then for sure I'm going to give it a good back stitch. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ta-da is the first part. Okay. This is awesome. Ooh, and we're getting some more really fun oh, signature dishes. Good. Good. So Susan is in Maine, and so she makes lobster mac and cheese. Okay, already, Susan, I'm coming to your house. I know. I love all these, like, versions of mac and cheese that we can get, though. Like, and yes. Then, uh, Tammy makes a mean cabbage crunch, which is coleslaw with oil, red wine vinegar, almonds, raw ramen noodles, and just uh, seasonings oh my gosh. and sesame seeds. I know. She says everybody asks her to bring it to all the parties. I would. I, absolutely, it sounds absolutely. delicious. Okay, so see how I'm doing this? I'm just folding it over. I'm just gonna take the inside to the out here. I'm gonna pin it down. Look at that. So then I can just stitch, okay? And super fast and easy, okay? And one right here, okay? Look at that. Sweet. Okay, so see right here? This is where I started. So this is gonna, I'm gonna start right here and it's not gonna have a raw edge because I tucked it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, I just about pinned myself. Okay, now, for those of you who are wondering, that's why, because my little sleeve will come off. All right, I'm gonna find my starting point, which is right here. Let's see. So if you wanted to do like a decorative lining, wouldn't you just, you just, instead of doing the white fabric that you chose for the inside and, and you know, create, could you do like, could you do like an inside out one? You could. And have like two fabrics, one on the outside, one on the yes, inside. Yes, you could make it reversible. How cute would that be? You could have like multiple seasons in one oven mitt. There you go. Emily's Ooh. thinking ahead. Emily's <laughs> thinking ahead. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna do a little back stitch. And I'm just gonna come right here along the edge. Take my pins, because of course I put them in the wrong direction. I like that reversible oven mitt. That's that a great kind of idea. That's fun, you know, because mm -hmm. then you're like, 
got two and one. I always, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good reversible anything. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, a couple more while we finish this up. Let's tell us our signature dish. Absolutely. So we have <gasps> peanut butter fudge. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds divine. My goodness. I want the recipe for that, please. Yes. Um, Wanda makes chicken bake made with cream of chicken, cream of celery, sour cream, chicken, celery, onions, and stove top for chicken. That sounds, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good on a winter's night, right? Okay, look at this. Okay, I don't know how long it took me to sew it, but we talked in the middle of it. So <laughs> look how easy that was. I just top stitched across the top. Love that. Okay. Don't forget quilters oven mitts come in pairs, so make sure you sew enough uh, to make two, okay? Look at how cute this is. We're gonna use this at the Heller house. I think that is fun. Absolutely. All right, Emily, tell us about our blog. We have a blog. We surely do, yes. Yeah. So our blog is going to have um, exclusive patterns, uh, projects, tips, tricks, and ideas. Um, and then you can get involved by chatting with our go-getters as well as our pattern creators who can, you know, chat with them in the comments yeah. section. And there are patterns specifically only available to our blog. So this week there's a turkey place, our table runner pattern that's only available on the blog and it's super cute. So you wanna check it out. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the mitten die because I keep calling the oven mitt mittens. There we go. First of all, it's on a five by 10 die board. So make sure you have a five by 10 cutting mat, okay? And it cuts all the shapes for the mitten, including the mitten and the cuff and snowflakes, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you, the only people who should cut snowflakes by hand are kindergartners, right? The rest of us Absolutely. should use a die. We have so many dies that have um, snowflakes on it, we okay? Should. And one of the things that I love about this die is that it's perfect for projects to make with your kids or your grandkids. And you can cut mittens and snowflakes out of craft foam. Um, here's one I did that we used as a gift bag. Look at this cute gift bag. Oh, how sweet. And then just to move the tree so I can't touch it anymore, we use show more ornaments on the tree. <laughs> they had to, I can either sew or you can look at ornaments. Look at how cute those are. Marianne Fontana made those, aren't those darling? So sweet. And the Go Mittens advent calendar is behind me. Um, it's on this little string of mittens here. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to make that holiday project right now, okay? Um, don't forget we're planning a whole week of events. Be sure to register. They start Tuesday through Saturday at 12 noon Central Time. Register in the link. We're giving away tons of things and we have a new die. Sneak peek, I'm excited, Yay. okay? And all right, so we're gonna start by cutting our mittens. Hey, Emily, before we start, let's talk about some things that maybe they wanna get with that cozy 20. You're fine, Brock. Absolutely. Cozy 20. Yeah, so if you're looking to do like, you know, going into the holidays, we have, you know, say you were to do like the gingerbread, the cookie decor, the holiday medley. So both the gingerbread and the cookie decor, they're usually $34.99 with the additional, you know, all the discounts today, they'd come down to 21 bucks. Excellent. Um, and then the holiday medley would only be $28.80. And the holiday medley is great because it has trees and snowflakes and holly leaves and all of those kind of things. Yep. So right now while we have items in stock is a great time to use that discount, get your projects going for the holidays. Sure is. Okay. All right. So we're going to start by cutting mitten shapes out of felt. Now normally we can cut up to six layers of cotton. Um, but with felt, I'm going to tell you to just do two. So I'm going to actually cut enough mittens for three little mittens, like kittens that lost their mittens. Ah, oh. okay. <laughs> so I have um, two green, and then each mitten needs a cuff. So I just subcut little strips of felt. And you could use fabric if you wanted, or wool, all sorts of things, okay? And then for the snowflake, you can just cut it out of felt, but look at this. They have adhesive felt. So when you're done, you can just stick it right on there, okay? So I'm using my Go Big today. Um, it is wide enough to cut two of our smaller dies side by side. 
So if you wanted to, you could cut mittens and you could cut snowflakes or you could use our um, holiday medley die, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We're gonna cut one. Could you use velveteen fabric? You could use velveteen. Boy, you are fancy. There's, yeah, it sure I wants would tell to you <laughs> to pre-fuse that velveteen because it's gonna kind of fray. Sure. Okay, give it a little love, right? Slide that mat, don't lift. Look, here are mittens. Okay, so while I cut a couple more, let's talk about, oh, here, listen. This is what you all came for. Look at the snowflake. I tell you, kindergartners are the ones to cut it by hand. All right, so don't forget our bundles. So Emily, just remind us, we have the mitten bundle and then the, and the oven mitt, and then we have it with the go big, right? We sure do, yeah. So the it would come with the go big, the the two dies, the insole bright, and then the two cutting mats as well. Perfect. And that is six forty nine ninety nine. The cutter itself is usually six ninety nine ninety nine. See, there we go. Quite a deal there. Um, and just to let out. folks know, with you know these holiday dies, we do have a little bit of limited stock right now. So now's a really great time to hop on that, so you can get your order in, you know, in time to make those great gifts. Did you all see me do that? Yes, um, I was t talking to Emily, and I didn't put my um, felt down enough, and so I pulled it out so I didn't cut it wrong. Okay, and then Emily, if you're talking about um, the additional cozy twenty. Mm -hmm. Give us some ideas for some other dies that you might want to get with that Cozy Absolutely. 20. Absolutely, yeah. So um, we do have two dies that work in conjunction with each other. The first is the Ghost Circle, which has two inch, three inch, five inch circles. Uh -huh. um, it's on sale. It's usually $49.99 um, on sale for the $37.49. And then it goes with along, along with the holiday accessories. So you can create snowmen and ornaments and cute little seasonal um uh, items and that's usually $59.99 looks like it's marked down to the 36 Perfect. So, yeah and those are both you know eligible all those items that we've listed uh, previously those individual dies are going to be eligible for that additional 20% off so. and they're all in stock so get them while they're in stock exactly get them while they're hot um, okay Oh, and then I also forgot to mention that that cornucopia is still in stock while we're... Oh, let's talk about it because it's the October die to try. It is, we yeah, and it it's almost week. the end of October. So, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so, yeah, it, that die is actually usually $89.99, and right now it's $64.99. So, great time to hop on it. You know, if you're placing an order, um, you know, you could add it to that to that $149.99 bundle and get yourself free shipping within the continuous Oh, there you US. go. That's a great idea. There you go. And don't forget quilters um last week our whole show was on the cornucopia die it was just last week right guys i think so yeah joe's like <laughs> give me the thumbs up and i showed you how to do the y seams don't forget all of our videos live on our facebook and youtube platforms so you can always go back and watch shows okay which is kind of cool okay so now i've cut a plethora of mittens oh i just love them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and I'm just gonna chain stitch my little cuffs to my mittens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep these out here. Okay, and again, these are directional, but it's felt so, oh, see, there we go. Ah, yes. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> See, I knew when I was doing this, I was like, now don't forget, you have to stitch one one direction, one the other. Right. Okay. Oh All right. So while I'm chain piecing these, Emily, tell us some people's signature dishes. Yeah, I actually have a really fun idea that Sherry has. So Hi, Sherry. So she says these work great with win window cling and would be fun for kids to decorate windows. Oh, you could totally cut um, out of, of that. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. What a sweet idea. And then they could kind of rearrange as the holiday. Oh, yes. fun. Um, we do have, let's see, uh, I make a rice dish that my mother used to make. You add cream of chicken soup, carrots, paprika, chicken broth. I take it to outings and it always goes over fabulously. Diane says she is, is um, at her church in the neighborhood. She's known as the pie lady. Oh, <laughs> there you go. 
everyone should know a pie person. I was going to say, I'd love a reputation like that. You get invited to all the fun gatherings. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> hold on here. I'm making sure I'm doing this right. Um, my Ray is a pie guy. He is known for his pie. Really? Does he have a, a favorite pie that he makes? Um, Taylor um, likes pecan pie. Okay. So that's kind of always a favorite. Um, coconut cream pie at our house is a huge, big hit. Love that. But last week, was it just last week? See, I don't know the days just all go together. Um, we took Oakley a couple of weekends ago to um, pick apples. Um, we have a local orchard here. We went to Dittmer's. Mm -hmm. And then we came home and Ray made fresh apple pie with apples we just picked that day. Oh. And then we did like a crumbly topping on them. Oh man. Okay, it was divine. There's... And then you serve it warm with caramel sauce and um, ice cream. Oh man. Yeah, so I don't know what you all were doing last week, but that's what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so look, I have my oven mitten, or my oven, see, now look, I'm all messed up. I have our mittens, okay? So now look, I'm just gonna put them together and we tell you to trim the cuff, but I actually kind of like it a little bit off the cuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so look, see how I'm doing this? So now I'm gonna take them to my machine and I'm gonna chain piece. Now you can totally do a decorative stitch here, like if you have um, a blanket stitch that you wanna use, you could totally use this. Now, since our snowflake is an applique shape, we actually have a free embroidery file for it to go around that tiny little, I know, it's hard to believe, that tiny little snowflake. Wow. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right. What else are people making that's their signature dish? Yeah. Well, everybody's getting pretty excited about the mittens as well. Um, but let's see here. We've got... Um, let's see. Oh, actually, I have a, a comment about um, the Christmas, her Christmas deck, uh, presents. I've got a gal that says, when I was teaching, I would crochet a small Christmas stocking for each student. It would have been much easier to cut them each a mitten and put oh it Oh my, yes. <laughs> so this is perfect for like ornaments. You could use them for gift tags, for teacher gifts, or... And the thing about mittens that I love, you can totally make them blue and white. Right. And they could be all winter long here you in the use, great state of Alaska. Like, yeah, you could put like a gift card in there or something mm -hmm. and a little note and like yep. hang it on the tree. That'd be kind of fun. Yep. I love Now notice that. quilters, I'm kind of, when I go around the thumb, because it doesn't have a slit, I'm just kind of turning, lifting up my presser foot and turning my underneath. So it looks like a thumb. Love. I don't want it to be all janky. <laughs> My Scooby-Doo term of the day. Okay, here we go. All right, what else are people making? Yeah, so Sue says uh, her signature dish is Sloppy Joe's using her grandma's recipe. Oh man, I haven't had Sloppy Joe's in a hot minute. I know, me neither. That's another food that's like so good in a, on a cold day. Yeah. Oh, that was used to be one of my favorite. Sloppy Joe's this weekend. <laughs> right? That actually used to be one of my favorite hot lunches at my school with Sloppy Joes. Oh yeah, when the kids were younger, we had Sloppy Joes all the time. Absolutely, or like Macho Nacho Day. That's oh yeah, Nacho <laughs> Day was a big hit at the Heller house. Oh, Joni says pecan pie is her specialty. Oh, there you go, Joni, you and Ray could just hang out together. Love that. Um, Ada says oven fried chicken. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm like a good, like I am not a good fried chicken maker, yeah. but. I have a good friend who like, you know, breads it and fries it and it's just all sorts of delicious. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Now, Emily, you have a little comment that somebody sent into the comments. Yes, it was you so and your sweet. other day job, you help with customer service calls. Exactly, yeah, I was looking through our tickets and emails yesterday and we had the sweetest comment from Karen. 